Hello everyone. Welcome to VA Tech Talks. In this lecture, we are going to talk about CI/CD setup for mill project. Okay. What is the necessity of CI/CD setup here? Okay. So that's what we are going to discuss. And in order to set up CI/CD, okay, in order to set up CI/CD, I'm going to divide into there are three parts. Okay. I'll release three videos on this series. So first one is like, okay, what are the required softwares we need to download and we need to install. So that is one video. And another video, I'm going to create a okay, sample meal project and how to uh, push the code into a repository and uh, necessity configurations. Okay, that is another video. And another, the third video is like, uh, set up Jenkins, okay? Set up Jenkins and uh, test the application, okay? These are the three parts in this series I'm going to release, okay? Today we are going to mainly discuss about what is CACD, what is the use of CACD, okay? And what are the required softwares we need to install into our local machine, okay? Okay, let's jump into the topic. So here, if you see this PPT, what is CI/CD? So most of the people are aware, okay, this is a DevOps uh, culture, okay. You may heard about uh, CI/CD at all. So CI/CD, nothing but continuous integration and continuous deployment. So it is a process of where code changes are regularly merged into shared repository. It's like uh, GitHub or Azure DevOps, or GitLabs or Bitbucket, okay? Then automatically deploy, okay? Then automatically it is going to deploy into uh, staging or dev region or QA region or production environment, okay? You can set up for any regions, okay? Not only for one region. If you see our previous videos, we are doing in a manual process. It's like uh, we'll uh, log in into Cloud Hub and we will uh, push our jar, okay? Or we will configure the things, um, the replicas or whatever it is, okay? So that's what we have done so far. But today, we are going to learn by using CI/CD how we are going to deploy our mule application into production environment or dev environment or QA environment, okay? Something will be like that, okay? Then, the most popular DevOps tool is for CI/CD. Okay, CI/CD pipeline is Jenkins. Okay, this is very uh, popular and open source one. Okay, anyone can download and we can use this. Let's go to next slide. See how we are implementing with the Jenkins. Okay, so without Jenkins, what we are doing? So first, we will develop the code in our AnyPoint Studio. Then we will take that jar and we will deploy it into Cloud Hub. But here, just understand the concept here. See, here we have a development. It's like by using any point studio, we are developing here. And we are committing, okay, by using commit, code commit, by using GitHub, okay, by using Git. By using Git, we are pushing our code into GitHub or Bitbucket, or there are some repositories like uh, Azure DevOps, okay? Um, these are the repositories, we can use it, but here we are going to use GitHub. See, GitHub and Git is different. Anyway, I have created separate video for that. Uh, if you are very much interested on that, they can go to my channel, and there we have a playlist called GitHub for beginners, okay? You can watch that. So Git is a version control, by using Git, we are going to push our code into repository. Okay, first what we will do, we will commit the code into Git, then we will build it. Okay, then we will test, it will stage and it will deploy it into, okay, it will deploy into specified regions or particular regions. Either it is a dev or QA or production. Okay, here we have mentioned as production. 
why this came into the picture cicd so uh, it's like moreover so keep on we are changing our code so in order to deploy in order to deploy so there is a manual report it is required there is a manual report it is required to deploy our code into uh, environments so that's where cicd came into the picture so we will set it for one time okay first time we will set it up for any project then later on directly it will push into okay it will deploy it into specified regions what we will do just we will push our code into a repository that's it okay once we configure okay anyway at the end of this series you will get to know how easily we can deploy our code into um, either production environment or qa environment or dev environment okay okay as part of today uh, the very first step the very first step we need to install these softwares okay these softwares into our local machine so first we need to install any point studio in order to develop mule projects this one is required then we need any point platform account okay um, why any point platform account again so you have to verify right whether the application is deployed into cloud hub or not then we need a java 8 or 11 okay uh, because any point studio it will run on top of java then it's required maven and git github account we need to create and jenkins to test to test our application we need a postman or thunder client okay then we need to configure everything okay these configurations we are going to see now i'll talk about one by one okay how to download and install first let me write it here or else let me copy these things okay i'll copy it from this one okay okay the very first one we have to create a uh, any point platform account how to create any point platform account just observe here go to google and type any point platform login okay any point platform login uh, click on this very first link okay the very first link so here we have a sign up option okay so anyway i have created my account i have created my account even uh, i assume you guys also are having the account if you don't have then you can fill this form and you can create an account anyway i'll uh, share this link in a description okay so any point platform account has to create so once it is created right okay once it is created i have already created i'll log in here it is cool zero four test right You can provide your username and password here. Okay. So as soon as if you log in, okay, this is an welcome page. Okay, this is an welcome page. So here there is one option like okay, there is one option like download any point studio download option. Just click on this option. Okay. Or else, what you can do, you can again directly go to Google and type any point studio download for windows okay this will also work guys okay there are two ways one is you can log in into any point studio and you can download here and another option is you can go to google and type 
any point studio download okay any point studio download so here if you observe this one so here we need to select the options okay in order to download any point studio any point studio and mule select version latest select operating system as windows you can provide your first name last name your email id okay so email id is mandatory so the link is going to the link is available in your email id for downloads okay this website is going to send an email okay so you have to provide a valid email id then company name some vi take or something etc okay what you can uh, whatever it is feasible you can give that the job title and phone number these things okay as soon as if you click this download you will get uh, generate one email so there again there is an option like the download option okay there is an option called download uh, it will get download into downloads folder so what we need to do so once it is downloaded right you can go to downloads normally you can go to downloads and you can copy and keep it into keep it into one folder one folder i will tell you how to install those kind of things okay you can keep it into software okay so i have already kept it here any point studio 7.15 okay now i'll provide you this link also any point studio okay so this is for any point studio this is for any point platform okay this one is first right i'll keep it here any point platform is done now any point studio also we have downloaded okay then the next step is we have to download java 1.8 or 11 okay so i'll recommend you to download java 11 you can go to google okay you can go to google and type okay java 11 download for windows see there are many websites you can download okay it is an oracle website so here you have to create an account in order to in order to download see in order to download this version you need to create you need to create an account okay so it will ask you to log in with a username and password see if you don't have then you can create it account. okay the easy way what you can see is okay you can go with text part okay text part see here you can select the windows option so anyway i have downloaded and installed in my mission okay so anyway the latest version okay it is going to download here so as soon as you click this one see it is downloading okay it is downloading here okay fine uh, i'll give you this link also let me take this link to download java 11 okay next one is to like download maven okay maven so what you can do is you can go to again google okay maven download for windows so you can click on this very first link you can click on this very first link here you will be able to see there is one option called binary okay binary apache maven 3.9.6 but i would recommend you to download okay so in my system this 3.9.6 is uh, not supporting okay so for that reason i have downloaded 3.8.6 with the binary version here okay with the binary version here uh, so you have to download this one okay apache maven 3.8.6 bin.tar 
dot gz okay just click on this one okay it is downloading here okay let me take this url also for your case what you can do you can go to description youtube description okay you can copy paste all these links and you can directly download okay or else you can follow this video and you can download and set up next i have to, we need to download git okay git or windows download okay just click on this one or this one any one is fine okay downloads here you need to click on this windows okay just click on this windows so here it will ask you for the 32 bit or 64 bit okay for mine it is 64 bit okay click on this 64 bit it is downloading here okay let it be i'll give you this link also okay let me copy and paste it next next one is you need to create you need to create github account okay you need to create github account in order to create github account you can go to google okay github account login okay then so here it will ask you for the username and password if you have already created that that's well and good otherwise what there is an option called create an account okay you have to create an account so here you need to create an account so anyway i have created github account also so i'm not going to show you here so that's very simple ways okay you have to provide your email id uh, how we have created the any point platform account the same way you have to do that still you are facing some issues what you can do is you can go to youtube okay in our channel in the channel if you go to playlist so there is one playlist for git for beginners okay so what you can do is okay i'll give you this playlist okay so there i have explained okay how to create github account and uh, git github commands to okay youtube link i'll provide here okay then the next one is i have to download jenkins how to do this okay just go to google and type jenkins jenkins download okay jenkins download click on this very first link click on this very first link so here here you will be able to see there are two options okay uh, one is for lts and one is for uh, normal version so here if you want installer okay there is one more option you have to click on this windows otherwise what you can do you can directly download this where okay so i'm going to download this where directly okay just click on this where okay it is downloading now okay let me copy this url to download jenkins okay we have to follow there are two options one there is a software it's like installer it will come or else you can download the var file okay by using var file directly we can set it up okay better you can download this var file is enough okay next i have to download postman or thunder type okay in order to download postman what you can do is i have already installed in my machine but again i am telling you like download this postman what you can do is go to google and type postman download okay here we have an option called windows 64 bit okay if you click on this one automatically this will get download here or else i can go with the thunder client okay to install this thunder client we need a vs code okay vs code 
Visual Studio Code. Okay, VS Code download. Go to this one. Here we have an option called okay, a Windows. If you click on this one, Windows automatically the download the download option will come, and you can download the particular software. Okay. Now, so here there is a plugin called Thunderflight. I'll show you here. So if you go to, okay, once it is installed VS Code, what you can do is, so there's an extensions. So here we can type Thunder Client. Okay, if you type Thunder Client, so you can able to uh, perform API testing here. See this one. So for this also, I have created a video. I have created a video for this. You can go to videos. See, this is a video for that. I'll give you this link also in the description. So, okay, how to set up. Okay, we'll come from one by one. Okay, this is how we can download. Okay, once it is downloaded, all the softwares, it will be present in your downloads folder. Okay, then very important thing, we have to download for 7-zip also. 7-zip. So why, why do we need this 7-zip means, okay, to extract the archive files, okay? 7-zip download, okay, 7-zip download. You can download any one of this, okay? I'll go to this one, 7-zip. Or else sometimes, so WinRAR also it will work, okay? So that's fine, 7-zip. See, these are the required softwares, okay? Then we'll go one by one. See, we have created, you know how to create any point platform account, okay? This is done, I'll mark it as done here. Now, coming to any point studio and these kind of things, how to set up. Let's see now. Go to downloads and copy, okay? Copy what are the softwares it is available. Just copy or cut it from here go to your softwares folder okay so better you can keep always the softwares as in a backup so that is that is the best practice guys okay that's the best practice so here i am going to keep my all the softwares here okay now the first one any point studio right so how we are going to install in Epine Studio? Even I have created multiple videos, even though I'm telling, just you right click here, show more options. Better go with the 7-zip, okay? Sometimes um, there are some files are corrupting. So even if you directly extract here, if you directly extract here, okay? There are some files are not extracting. It will show like, okay, the file length is too large or something like that. So for that reason, uh, you can go with, you can go with show more options and 7-zip to extract here, okay, extract here. Okay, once it is extracted, so the folder will come like this, okay. So here we have an one icon. So what you can do, just give right click, just give right click, show more options, send it to desktop, okay. The shortcut is going to create it in the desktop so that we can easily access your any point studio no need to come always into softwares and uh, this this location okay this location no need to come okay this one is done now uh, what you can do is you have to install jdk 
So in my mission, okay, how to check JDK is installed or not, go to command prompt, okay, window R, window R, CMD, type CMD. Type Java hyphen version. Okay. So mine it is already installed. Okay. Java version is already installed. But in your case, what you need to do? Just you right click or uh, run as administrator. Okay. Just it will ask you to the like uh, the very it's like the very easy. We have to give next, next, next. Okay. Then finally you have to click on this finish. Okay. So that's how we can uh, install JDK. So JDK also done. Anypoint Studio. Okay. I will mark it as here. So this one is done. Anypoint Studio. How to extract and how to use. Okay, that's also done. Next, how to download. And install. Okay, this is also done. The next option is like Maven. Okay. How to configure the Maven? So what you need to do? We have to. Okay. Where is the Maven? Okay, there is three point eight point six, right? Okay. So what you can do is just okay. Just give right click. Just give right click and click on this seven zip. Okay, seven zip extract here. Okay, extract here. So automatically, so here in my system, three point nine six and three point eight six is there. But I would recommend you to use three point eight eight point six bin. Okay, so if you go to inside, okay, if you go to inside, uh, there's a path, right? Okay, you have to copy this path first. You have to copy this path, then go to environment variables. Okay, type environment variables here. Click on this edit system variables and click on this environment variables here. So if you come here, okay, see Maven home. What you need to do, you have to click on this new option. If you are a first time, okay, here you have to type Maven. Maven home. So anyway, I have created for this video also uh, separately. If you want to check, you can go to my YouTube playlist and you can verify that. And here you have to copy paste this. Okay. So this is how we can set up the path. Even Java path also. If you want to set up Java home, so the same path, you can set it up. It's like C program files, something like this. Okay, then this is done. Then the very important thing is the path. Okay, it is a path. If you double click on this path, so here we need to set this Maven home, percentage Maven home, and percentage slash bin here. Okay, this is very important. Then once it is set up, then click OK and click OK. Then go to command prompt. Go to command prompt and type mvn hyphen v. Okay. This is how we can verify whether Maven is installed into your machine or not. Okay. In my system, it is installed. I mean, it's like configured. It's a configured 3.8.6. Okay. Now, well and good. So, this is how we can set up the Maven. Now, Maven also done. Okay. Now Git. Okay. So we have already downloaded how to install. It's very simple. Just give double click. That's it. Okay. Even any software, if you give double click, it will ask you like whether yes or no. You have to select yes option. Click on this next, click on next. Either you need an icon in another desktop, yes. You can click on this checkbox here. Then click on next. Then next, okay, next. 
Um, okay, let get decide. Okay, fine. This is also fine. Okay, it's the recommended version. So no need to select any different options. Okay, click on next. Next. Click on this next. Okay, okay. So here I'm going to enable this option. Okay, click on this next. So how we are going to decide whether it is installed or not? Again, go to CMD, command prompt, git hyphen V. If you give this one, see, there is no it is not installed, it is showing us, it is not recognized as an internal or external command. Okay, fine. Still it is installing. Okay, just click on this finish. Okay, see. Now you can go to command prompt, cmd, git hyphen v. See, git version is 2.43.0. So this is how we can verify. Or else what you can do, you can give right click directly and if you go show more options, so here you will be able to see git bash and git GUI, okay? This is how you can verify. Okay, this one also done. Next, GitHub account, right? Okay, so I already explained, okay, how to do this. Um, you can go to github.com. You can select the create an account. Same like as any point platform account. Same like that only. But here, okay. So here you have to provide your email id uh, and password you have to set it up mine it is already there okay i'm going to log in okay wait is cool 92 92 is my username password let me give my password See, I have created my own account here, okay? This is my profile and these are my repos. So far in your case, it will come empty paste. Anyway, just uh, create an account. I'll guide you like how to create account, i uh, sorry, how to create a repository and how to push the code and all. It's in our next uh, video, okay? So this is also done. Next, Jenkins we have downloaded. So I'm not going to tell you how to set up this Jenkins, okay? Um, Jenkins, we are going to run, okay? In a final video, okay? Just you can download this one, okay? So here we have a Jenkins option. So that one also I'll tell you, see, okay, see, this one is Jenkins, right? So what you can do here, go to CMD, okay, how to run, okay, I'm going to tell you, go to CMD, these softwares here. Now, here you need to type Java, iPhone jar, type, okay, give, if you give tab, Jenkins.var will come. Okay, just click on this, okay, just give one enter. So it will run on some port like 8080. In my case, it will give some errors. I think I have to change my port. Or if it is running, then that's fine. Okay, it's well and good. It is running on. It's running on the port. 
okay fine we have to see you have to remember this passcode you have to remember this passcode for setup now what you can do is you can directly go to you can directly go to browser localhost type 8080 okay just type 8080 and give one enter see this is like unlocking the jenkins so if you give that password if you give that password okay if you give this password it will ask you to set up the username and password okay you have to create one account in the jenkins okay this part i am going to teach you in a last session okay if you are very much interested then you can give this you can give this code and you can click on this continue and you can try that okay um, that is for one thing so how to run how to run the jenkins you have to give java hyphen jar jenkins start sometimes what will happen so your port is not working what you can do is you can give two hyphens here http port you want to run it in different ports suppose you want to run it in 9090 okay you want to run it in 9090 http okay you can give like this http port 9090 okay just observe this time it will run with a 9090 port so you have to provide this command i'll copy this command also jenkins so okay now go to local host type 9090 so if you type this one again it will ask you to unlock the jenkins we have to provide the administration password so where you can get this administration password is so this is your administration password okay so no need to search anywhere so otherwise what you can do this can be identified in see dot jenkins secrets initial admin password so you can also find it from here also if you want to find it you can find it from this location See, both are same only guys okay both are same only now i'm not going to set up now okay uh, next thing is okay almost we are done next postman or thunderfact so both are installed into my machine okay so this is my postman in order to test something i can do it here or else if you are very much interested to perform the operations by using thunder client you can go with thunder client okay so this is my thunder client here okay so these are the softwares we need to install okay first one is any point studio any point platform account we need to create java maven git github account jenkins thunder client okay so now we have to verify all the versions and paths is configured or not so for that what you can do is you can go to cmd directly you can verify one by one java hyphen version okay it is there mvn hyphen v maven also configured correctly next git hyphen v okay this one also done okay these are the required softwares okay it's very very important in order to proceed okay in order to proceed further for this second chapter okay our second video uh, we have to install this okay we have to install these softwares okay
So what you can do is, okay, you can install all these softwares. You can install all these softwares and you can comment. You can comment in the comment box, in the YouTube comment box. It's like, yes, I have installed these softwares. Okay, so that I can start with next process. Okay, I can start with the next process. Anyway, I'll share these links in the description. You can go through it and you can download and you can install. If you are facing any issues, okay, if you are facing any issues, you can comment in a comment box so that I'll ready to help you. Okay, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching this. Happy learning. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.